Hello everyone, my name is Haven, and today I am playing The Backrooms Survival. Because of course not, or of course, why not? I love me some backrooms. Can't seem to get enough of them. <laughs> and people can't seem to get enough of making them. Which is fine, you know, everybody has their own interpretation of the backrooms. I think this is probably my millionth video, and I probably will have a million more to come. So, I have no idea exactly what this one is particularly going to be about. You know, usually each one has a different twist on the backrooms. Like I said, everybody has their own opinion when it comes to or their own vision or interpretation of the backrooms. So, this one... I imagine this probably may be different, or this may be no different than any other experience I've ever done. But this one's called Survival, so I'm very curious to know how this one's going to turn out. Whoa. I was not expecting that face to pop up right there. So, uh, what is Obituary? Oh, I guess this is, uh, if I die, which I, I'm going to imagine is what's going to happen. I'm probably going to die several times. But, once we get used to the game, we'll figure it out, right? Hopefully. Maybe. Leader bot, <laughs> leader bots, bodes, leader bo bodes. Okay, so uh, yeah. Okay, mouse sensitivity. Probably go up to about. I may end up having to change this as we get in. Graphics quality. Let's get it to about a medium. I don't need it crazy, but motion blur. I think those will work. Sounds. I don't know. I don't like the way just this, that sound is. Why? Back. Alright, so I guess we're gonna jump into this and either get scared or get very annoyed. Yeah, either get scared or get very annoyed. This. Beginning a new game, this will clear any. Well, I, I can't. I, didn't, I don't have any save progress. So I, I like to say sure. Survival guide. You're about to find yourself in, a, in the back rooms. A reality you cannot imagine. These tips, while basic, will help you with the basic fundamentals of survival. I can concur. I, uh, I've been, not only imagined it, I've been it several times. Just different perspectives. So one, check the floor at all times for any items that you that may aid you. Okay, fairly simple. Always keep moving. Do not stay in the same place. Very simple again. Listen out for sounds that sound suspicious and potentially dangerous. If you do hear something, it's probably already too late, as it certainly heard you. Watch your noise. Sprinting is the loudest, walking less loud, and sneaking, crouching is the quietest. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to be very careful how we move around. Conserve your stamina. If you, you never know when you may need it. True enough. Keep an eye on your hunger, thirst, and sanity. Don't fall in the back, room, back rooms due to starvation or madness. I will say that... Madness will probably get me before starvation. Okay. Death is permanent. You can make a quick save to take a break and continue playing later. But if and when you die, that attempt is over. So it's one life and that's it. The backrooms change every attempt. New layouts, themes, different items, events, entities. It will take many different attempts to see all that there is in the backrooms. So this is a fairly large game. Uh... I don't know how long my playthrough is going to be of this. It could be 10 minutes, or it could be 30 minutes, or it could be an hour. I'm not too sure. It just depends on, I guess, how fun the game is and not how frustrating it is. Most importantly, look for a way out. Look for ladders to descend to new levels of the back rooms and ultimately some type of way out. Okay, different levels. I don't know what it means by different levels, but I'm assuming it'll be like being in a, um, a skyscraper. Yeah. All right. So, oh. So, oh. <laughs> I work with somebody named Amy. No. We're going to be paid. So, okay. Why does it matter with my age? Uh, I might be, you know, I think being a paramedic would probably be the better option. Huh. So, it's this is very interesting. 
very, very interesting security guard. I wonder if age has a factor. Like, if I'm 22, I'm probably good. Like, I'm good and healthy. But what if I'm, like, eight? I wonder what the age limit is. 18. 75. I don't know if being 75 would be ideal. I, I think 18 would probably... You're at the... The pinnacle, I'd say. the I wouldn't say the height of your... The human potential, but I would say, maybe you know what? Let's go 20. I think 20 is probably good, rough, roughly good. Resistance to damage. Burglar would probably be just as good, depending on who we're working with as a, um, who are the, the, the monster or creature is. Because if they detect me by based on sound, um, I think being a burglar would probably be the better option. That or a healer, depending. I We might be the burglar. Because I don't know what I'm working with. My children. Oh, whoa. Okay. This just changes things up severely. Interesting. So now I'm torn between a, a burglar and a teacher. Because I... That's... That's very interesting veterinarian so we're we're coming at, we're going to be dealing with quite a few things i think by others i don't know what it means by others other adults uh others as in adults children and animals that's interesting cannibal eats corpse okay serial killer deals more damage so we have the ability to fight back I, this is this is very interesting you know <laughs> i think i want to be unemployed streamer interesting athlete that would probably be just as effective as well so the so okay so we got a, a good you know a, quite a few that we can work with i want to i i i'm I want to do the burglar because I don't know what we're working with yet. I mean, depending, because I mean, it's, it's very random, but depending on we, if we can, can get a general idea of what we are in fact working with, uh, then I might be, I might change it later after I die. So I guess this is it. Let's do this. Confirming yes is irreversible. I'm, I'm all in. I'm definitely excited to see how this game is going to turn out. What is this place? Am I dreaming? You know, I thought I had a female voice. So I was expecting them to be in the dialogue. No, this clearly feels too real to be a dream. I don't even remember how I got here. My memory feels completely blacked out. Whatever the hell this place is, I need to get out of here a ASAP before things, these irritating lights give me a seizure. There's probably a way out around that corner you know my shadow just scares me alone okay, i don't have a flashlight so what corner are we speaking of i might turn off the vhs effect bottle of water it's unopened not sure how what this is doing lying around but i should take this yeah i might end up turning off the vhs effect that way I can see better. That's blood. Good detective skills. Uh, there's Sherlock. Okay, so definitely crouching is the move. So my sanity is at 98%. Hear water dripping, or what I can only assume is water. That I heard running behind me. I don't know what that was. Oh. Okay, so there is water. In fact, water dripping in here. I don't know what I picked up. I think it was a battery, right? Oh no, pills. 
Okay. It's cool if I just hang out in this corner forever. What was that? I think I'm already going insane. Oh, I don't have to hold that down. Okay, cool. No reason to go that way. Don't like how quiet it is. I don't like the idea of going over there. Keep hearing things. Oh fuck. Oh god, it scared me. Okay, now I hear a child. This is not good. Let's just hug the walls. This went from an exciting game to very terrifying. here? It sounds like somebody's running. I don't like when it stutters. You don't have any keys that fit this locked doors padlocked <sighs> and there's no map too oh my god this is only level zero so there's probably multiple levels i mean it did say there was but i can only imagine how many levels this game has and i need a flashlight because i can't see in these dark areas like right here Excuse me. <sighs> oh, I thought that was a sign. Okay. So I don't want to stand around here too long, but I need to figure I need to figure out like how am I supposed to find my way back, I guess is the real question. And another question is how big is this place? Okay, my scout my shot. Fuck it. Oh my god, it scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, okay. Ugh, just get me already. Fuck. Oh, it's a locked safe, of course. You don't have any keys that fit this padlock. Tell me, what are the odds of me finding it again? The wood on those crates look pretty tough. I'd need something to use it if I want to break them. it open. Jesus, okay. Oh, is this another block? What? Is this place ever changing as I go, though? Or is it ever changing, like, through each playthrough? Okay. Well, that's actually my next kind of curious question. But here's the thing. That camera is pointing at me. Is someone watching me? See, that's what I was beginning to wonder. The actual fuck is going on in here? Hello? I'm just gonna just gonna slip by you real quick. Check on that. Oh, they're still dancing. Oh, fuck. 
Can't pick up right now. Being chased. Okay, how do I outrun this guy? Oh, he's not the Fuck, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, I'm done. I'm done for. I'm done for. So far. <laughs> so far. I'm not a fan. And it's only because. Days survived? Wow, two days. Wow. Doesn't even feel like two days. Ending one of six. I wonder what the other endings are. Alright. But, okay, so. You can't necessarily outrun the guy. So, once you're spotted, you're spotted. And I didn't even know he was going to be there until he was there. So, uh. Hmm. 11, 11 seconds chase, I'm guessing. Doesn't sound right. Damage taking, taken. Yeah, a lot. So I'm. Oh, we'll, we'll try it again. Yes, new game, obviously. Uh. Get more damage. Uh, I think I might want the stamina. Okay. Let me just go random name. Oh wait, no. Uh, I still want. I want the the athlete. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. I, and the, my only, I guess, discrepancy to this is well, besides that, the can't exactly outrun being chased. Is it just seems like you got to do a lot of, a lot of stuff. I guess I and I, I mean I get it. You know, it's to keep the game interesting. I think it's really, I think for me, besides that, it's the mystery that keeps the game interesting for me. But here's my whole thing. How do you outrun? How do you outrun what's, what's chasing you? Because that, I mean, that was kind of like BS in a way. Like really BS being chased like that and not being able to outrun. And I've noticed though, the further you go in, the more you kind of discover. And like more stuff kind of starts appearing. So I'm kind of wondering if moving, you know, moving around in the back room is what's, if it reveals more. So far. I mean, because, you know, starting out like this, nothing really is being revealed. But then things like this start appearing. Yeah. Sadly, I don't know where I'm going to find the keys to exactly uh, unlock. What is this? Dog whistle. Why do I need a dog whistle? Logically, I want to stay quiet not, and not be found. It's like I'm basically being asked. Now, unless it's for, like, if we come across an animal. So, so far, we've only found a serial killer. And a dancing shadow. Psst. No, didn't bust. Nothing in there. Let's keep going, I guess. I will say this game is pretty eerie. But you never know what you're gonna find. Banana. Fresh fruit. What's that doing down here? It's for you, buddy. Oh, a ladder. I wonder where this ladder leads. There may not be any way out of this place on this floor. Maybe I should climb it. Climb the, this ladder to the next level. Yes. Okay, we're making making progress. Never been here before, but I'm not liking this place either. That's blood. 
it's still fresh. Hold on. I cannot see. Or not really. It's not that I can't see. I, I can't tell the difference between. Let's turn this off. Why? Let me turn off the PS. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off as well. Oh my god, this is so much better. I can see shit. I'm sorry if, if you don't like it. I just if there's shit on the ground, I just cannot see it. Maybe it's just me getting old. But this feels so much better. I don't I mean it probably would not work in the back rooms, at least the, the first area, first level. But this level it feels better. There's more blood on the ground. Like, I feel like I can get through this a lot easier now. I don't know where that door's coming. This opening is coming from. I kind of want to crawl around. Psst. Still got me. Still got me. I expected it, and I was still gotten. A lot of dripping. You gonna do it too? Huh? Scare me. No? Okay. So nothing so far. See anything down there? I'm kind of just wandering the edges. Another ladder. I guess we're, we're leaving. What's the next one gonna look like? Ooh. Certainly different. Oh no! Come on, that's such that's BS. That's still gonna be noticeable. That's now I'm just asking to be uh, killed. Plus, it's gonna be harder to find stuff on the ground. But I think this is probably this may be the furthest I will ever end up. I like how open this is, though. It's also not good if I get found. I still haven't found a flashlight. Either. Maybe I should start off as a, uh, well, having a flashlight doesn't mean much. Because you, only, you get two batteries. You start off as a technician, right? another ladder. I'm making my way out. Hopefully. So, I'm wondering if the exit is going to be through a ladder. Probably not. I think the ladder should just take you through different levels. So I'm kind of wondering if the exit is actually going to be like a door. Or a ladder. Imagine being trapped in this. Sleep or something like that, you would have to literally lay on one of these. You know, last time I got spotted, there was a camera. So far, so good with my sanity. I'll say that much. I think you've been pretty good sanity. I'm sure my sanity will go down. Once I, you know, and I'll start seeing shit. Can't go that way. It's just me. I haven't seen anything on the ground yet. I'm trying to keep an eye on the ground. But I haven't found anything yet. Guys, 
chill out. Still nothing. Going through the first two uh, floors. There's a cakewalk compared to this. This is the most I've explored. Don't do that. There's a vent. There's a vent in the ceiling. It's not a spell ceiling. If I had something to so of course I'm able to go through it. Sad part is, my good fellow sir, we haven't found nothing. Well, we have a dog whistle, but I mean, we got a banana for food. I mean, we go hungry. What's that? We're not hungry. We're not thirsty right now. Anything. If I'm gonna die of anything, it's gonna be freaking boredom. I'm not saying this game is boring, but I don't find something soon. I'm just gonna end up just sitting here waiting for something to happen. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, you ass. Like got an ant crawling on me or something. That's about an ant. We have an ant problem because it's the, practically the beginning of summer. It's all over you, especially if you sweat. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that a statue? Anything for me? Nothing. Oh, it's one of those statues. One of those statues. Okay. Somebody's been watching. Is it Doctor Who? There's nothing down here. So my sanity is slowly going down because I've seen a statue turn around. Oh. Let's see. I'm not moving very fast. So I'm not too concerned about you. Yeah, there we go. I'm not too concerned because you're not moving that fast. Looks like it's starting to get dark. Once again. Please tell me there's something in here. Maybe I need to be, uh, what is it, a, sh a streamer? Well, I was lucky to be able to get this far just with, uh, what I got. And I'm a runner. I'm an athlete. No, that was not a good sound. Like there's no, as far as I can tell, there's no way out. Oh, what is that? Bloody hand crunch. Okay, clearly that has no significance. 
Let's move on. Man, let me tell you. Oh, you know, if it was me, I would be up there. I would have found my way up there. just revealed my location just by jumping because splashing around is not revealing anything you know what the true horror is being lost in a sewer that's the true horror it's not being chased by serial killers it's being in a never ending maze of sewer Oh, I, I, oh, I can't save. You know, I said you could save. I can't save. Wait, actually, can you? It's probably, it's kind of funny because I, I got to push a button. A certain button. Oh, I didn't know you can lean. Y and X. Y and X. That's, that's so weird. Those are such... Wouldn't it be these? Wouldn't that be appropriate? That is so... That's such a weird button combination. Nope. Oh my god, it sounds fast. What the fuck was it? Oh, what is the gate? I need to get the fuck out of here ASAP. You know what? We've been trying that. So right, we we did our first escape. Fuck, man. We need to actually escape. Like get the fuck out of the back rooms. Okay, so as long as we don't run into him again, which he is an out a, a patrolman. Pick up a lead bot. How's that gonna, how's that gonna help anybody? You was supposed to throw it at him? Three of them. Three shots though. How's this supposed to freaking help? Okay, well, I can't go this way. Looking down, now. See, the problem with looking down is you don't know where you're going to end up walking. Uh, but I need a ladder. We need another ladder. We need to get the fuck out of This is like the worst place to be in. This of all places. If you knew that you were stuck in a back room, and the one place you didn't want to be was in was this would be that this would be that place. Because you make the most you know, you make the loudest sounds by swishing swashing all in the water. And I think you can get sick, because I don't know what kind of water this is. This, this could be the kind of water that would make you sick. You know, it's not drinkable water. Okay, I think I'm backtracking. I feel like I've been here before. Oh. A banana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know... I I am a little hungry. Use. I am a little hungry. Thank you. That, that does not solve. Well, you would think. If I get thirsty enough, I can always drink this water. Uh, is, I mean, it wouldn't be the strangest thing in the world, I guess. At least it doesn't have like a far line of sight. I think it's the only one here I would put. Banking on that though. 
hoping that I'm it's the only one on this level. I feel like it's starting to get dark again. Or is that my sanity just going down? Oh, I found something different. Not very helpful. This is different, though. I'm glad to see the change. But it doesn't help us. Hard to be quiet in terms of our bandage. That would probably be useful in the future. Okay, so it's roughly been about what, maybe 10 to 10 minutes. I've been wandering on the ground in this chasm. That's Maze. Billy Mays here. Brand new Oxyclean. That's what we need to do. Poison the water in, in the sewer. Oxyclean. Find the ladder. Did you find the ladder? Thank you. Yes. I am... Oh my god. I think I know what our next... Uh, Entity is gonna be. This is, this is, this is okay. Keep the music, and we'll be doing just fine. Personally, I'm a big fan of circus music. I mean, it's not like it'd be something I would go out of my way to obviously listen to, but. It's not as scary when you're in a literally in a circus tent of rooms. Fortunately enough for me, if anything comes out, I can run. No. Still haven't found any water though, and that's that's the concerning part, because I might die of dehydration. So maybe I can will that into existence. Imagine finding a bottle of water somewhere. Wouldn't that be nice? I just need one. Not like asking you to give me a case of water. music really is lightening the mood I will say that it's kind of a welcomed uh, welcomed addition to this so far I had to think about that I'm sorry Got the closet what is this more medication you know what do it use them my sanity is about 100 today. Like that sound. Here's the problem with that sound though. There's no glass in here. Oh, the music's gone. Please come back with it. Okay.
So many rooms. So many empty rooms, I should clarify. It's a TV. Schedule program. This television doesn't seem to have any buttons to adjust it. I guess I need a room. For what exactly? What 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 I need to why? I think there are so far. I think there are some stupid additions to this game, like a television. Oh, just found the television. Now find the remote. Why? Why would I need to find a remote to a TV? What purpose? Does it? What purpose does it serve the story, or just the experience? That's what I want to know. It's like the lockbox. I mean, I, I I could think of a few things why the lockboxes, or the 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 lock doors. You know, you find a key for a lock. You know, that you could use for lock doors. It's like okay, fair. I get it. Maybe there's some good stuff behind the doors. But when you find a freaking television, you need a remote control to it. Like, what? What? More standard pills. Ooh, thanks. I, I could use some water. If, if you have any. You know, I'm not asking much. But if you have some water. Like I did at the start of the game. My first playthrough. You know? Plus, now that I can see the ground more vibrantly. More sanity pills. I'll take those. Anything helps, right? I'm kind of curious. I, I mean, I don't want to see it. I mean, if anything, I do want to see it at a distance. What the What is the entity for this area? Is it like a clown? Like what are the what is their interpretation for what the entity could potentially be? Imagine imagine a, a scenario where if you were like a serial killer Hold on. Okay, imagine a scenario where you're a serial killer and your punishment was to basically live in the back rooms I don't want to use that bandage I don't want to use it as tempting as it is I don't want to make it sound what no no thank you screw it Hello? Is anyone there? No. Okay, but it shut it up at least. But yeah, I mean, imagine a scenario where you're like a bad guy. You know, just someone who committed some very horrific crimes. And your punishment was, oh, you had to be in the back rooms. You know, you had to basically, there's another TV. You basically had to live in the back rooms for, I don't know, like, for a sentence. Like, whatever your sentences could be. Oh, you gotta be in the back rooms for like a hundred days, or a month. I don't know. A year. Imagine. Just how fucked up you'd be coming out of that. Isn't there like, like a movie or a game based on that, where you're like, end up... 
if you commit crimes or something like that, you end up in this, like, basically a pocket dimension of just horrific things. Oh, I forget what it was. Because I think I've seen something like that. Um, yeah, I don't remember what it was. Was it like a Junji Ito? Maybe it wasn't even that, but I, I clearly distinctly remember something like that. It was like a, a movie I watched or something where uh, someone, you would end up in this pocket, like the government would send you to this pocket dimension. And I think it wasn't like an SCP, actually. Yeah, it was an SCP. That, that's an actual SCP. It was a prison cell. That's what it was. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. I don't know, that'd still be terrifying. I think, I mean, the thing is, it wouldn't deter someone from committing such horrific crimes if they knew, you know, not knowing if it didn't, if it existed or not. Like, obviously, it's like, uh, How, how, how's it like if you committed a severe like severely terrible crime you wouldn't understand the, the the consequences of what would it would mean being in prison you know it's like being a um i don't know overall third oh it comes to you. your head feels light and your throat dry your vision begins to blur your legs fall weak you collapse i couldn't find any water what was i supposed to do did i die wow death by thirst so that wasn't my fault though like so that was the game literally was rigged against me on that one but i survived eight days new record hell yeah my global rank is 2000 so wow i i don't know if that's good or if that's just eh, all right interesting i forgot what i was talking about i mean i i kind of do I forget like where i was at with my point uh you know, I'll do one more, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to be. The builder also increased stamina. I feel like. See, do more damage. Oh, well, that's yeah. That is if I back. Can't pull. See, there's no corpses though. Unless I see them. Security guard might be right. Be good. Uh, let's just unemployed. That was the one I was gonna go to. But I don't know. So I guess there are more rare items. Please chance to find rarer items. I'm gonna be the way this. That's how old I'll be this year. So, what was that? Fuck it. Into the back rooms. Yes, we are gonna into the back rooms. So this is like what the most challenging one yet. Oh God. Yeah, we're gonna escape. Why does my screen have liquid on the face? This feels so much easier. It looks so much easier, I guess. Clean. No, don't look at me. Thanks for the energy drink, you douche. Could have used that that last one, that last go. Assholes. I have every right to be mad. It was completely unjustified. I failed. Because the game wanted me to fail. Hello. I miss the circus one now. I really do. I don't think the cameras really affect anything, right? Like, it's not gonna... Give the uh, bad guy an advantage. Psst. 
I will say this is definitely different because of how dark it is. It reminds me of um, the one I did. The one that had like ray tracing in it. Backrooms of Reality. Yeah. It reminds me of that one, actually. What is this? A lead ball. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Okay. I don't care. This is... You already know about the banana. I mean, you probably don't. This is your first time, but it ain't my first radio. Another door. I'm hoping one of these doors is... What the fuck? It's a fucking dead body. I need to get the fuck out of here now. You're not starving or insane enough to cannibalize a dead corpse. You are right. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to see if I could still do it, even though the game said I couldn't. Hey, I mean, it's worth trying out. He. This might go to this, right? Use one of your small keys. Oh, so you, I think you only get one. Zero unlocks. You remove your small key from the lock. So do I keep the key? No, I'll just. So there's not nothing special. You know, it's not like you're finding a special room. The blood. I'm surprised you didn't react to the blood, but I guess after seeing that. After seeing that body, I'm sure you're like, yeah, seeing blood is like. The, you know. Not the scariest thing in the world. I don't want to go that way. I, I, I don't know. So I'm very curious to know how big this place is. Like, what these. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. I think the next one, next area is not so bad, right? It's the third one. I don't know, actually. Will, okay. Oh, I don't want to be in this place. This is, this is the last place I'm going to be in. So it's, it's random. Okay, so the floors are very, very random. Yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> so just take me out of this one so I get to keep the key. Sounds good. I have a banana. And I have a drink. I think I can get a drink section. So, starvation and thirst are at least the least of my worries. The problem is, is I can't out... I won't be able to outrun anything. If I get chased. That's, yeah, pretty much that's the only downside of this. Well, imagine come down here and then like something comes this way. Fucking screwed. Screw. Screw. I'm sorry if this is kind of boring. And I only I only say that. Because obviously if it was boring you probably wouldn't be this far into it. But I didn't I didn't know what to expect when playing this and while I will admit that I had a little bit, I got a little life out of it, personally myself. I feel like there are some certain aspects of this game that could be better. I feel like this would be fun with friends, honestly. I know this is an early access, so I'm sure there are going to be things that are subject to change. But I do think that this should be a multiplayer experience. Only because I think it would be fun, fun with friends. And finding things and maybe even, you know, just, I don't know, just the experience. Which I'm actually kind of surprised. Out of all the backroom experiences we kind of get, they're all sing single player. While, and while I do get it, I don't really understand why, based on the lore of it all, I do think that... Playing with friends would definitely enhance the experience. You know, like, oh, me and my buddy, I was holding my girlfriend's hand, you know, in, in, the, in the lore of the game, and she came with me. Because then at least you wouldn't be alone. In fact, I'm surprised that's actually not a concept yet. Because there isn't, it isn't very clear on if it's just one person that goes and the other person doesn't. And that's that's the thing, is like, you know, of all the people that got get tra you know, 
it's just never an instance where you happen to be with somebody. And if you get if you fall through, can that person pull you out? Or do they get drawn in with you? Like, there's a lot of questions, I think. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it. I, I don't know. I think there's a lot of unexplored territory that people tend to not go with. Coming down to it. Because, I mean, you gotta think, there are, in fact, you know, in just, like, Kane Pixels stories or videos this keeps falling out um you, know, you got the guys in the hazmat suits so obviously they you can travel together but if you separate then like yeah you're gonna you're gonna be alone now that also kind of leads me to another question though if you fall asleep with next to somebody would they end up disappearing because you were with them and you may happen to lay right next to them. But does the back room actually take them and place them somewhere else? And here's another question. Is the back room a living entity that is ever changing? Or is it a, something that is like, like the universe? It's there, but it's hard to explain why it does what it does. So I'm getting deep into this without actually even really meaning to get deep into it, I guess. Now, I I haven't, I guess, I don't know if it's just hard to see shit on the ground. But I haven't really seen anything on the ground. Look, it's just this area is just terrible for trying to find shit or what. A fucking gargoyle again. Fuck you, buddy. I have such a hatred for that gargoyle, I swear. <laughs> After a while, it's, it's kind of irritating. It scares me because I don't expect it, but it's irritating at the same time. <laughs> This shit pop up. You know what I would like to see pop up? A ladder? To get me the hell out of this place. So yeah, I think if I ever see an entity, I am practically screwed. Because I cannot outrun it. I was an athlete last time, but this time I am literally, as the game described, unemployed. Okay, so my health is still looking good. My energy, or my this thirst, is good too. This is I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, we want to get out of here. Let's go. Take this. This reminds me of a diner. There's blood on the floor. Nothing new. I will accept this. I prefer circus area, though. I would love that to be my next destination. So this must be either a diner or a doctor's office. Imagine this is where God places all his assets when it comes to making worlds. What the fuck? What? Yeah, I already know what it is. Okay. That was actually fairly easy. Oh, hey. Oh, does the key work on this too? Yes. You removed your small key from the lock. Okay, what is in here? I took a flashlight. 
toggle the light on. Use. So, do I have to have... <sighs> Yay, and I can see your face better, and I can see in the dark better. Okay, so the battery, obviously I only have one battery, and that's what's in the flashlight. So, I'm going to have to be very... Can I turn it off? Okay, yes. Oh, so the only way I can turn it on is I have to actually go to my inventory turn it on, which is kind of lame. I think, right? And maybe I can access it. No, I cannot. That is redonkulous. F is the universal key. F is the universal key for, um... I have a nail board now. The flashlight. Oh, I lost my yeah, I lost my fucking. That's blood. Oh no, blood! The thing we've seen a million times. I thought seeing that body was the the bane of your existence, but I was wrong. I know I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. I don't know if I've been here. If that's actual an actual entity, or if that's just a sound bite. Oh, can't can't unlock that. Though I will be excited when I do get another key. I was fortunate enough to be able to. Stay weary, traveler. You might see something that might scare you. That was not it, but hey. A plus for effort. Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him chase me now. Hey, buddy. I know you're a serial killer, but so am I. So I'm guessing we're probably going to need to find another ladder. I don't know what the exit looks like. Yes. Might as well. I like that. It's adorable. That was meant to be sc- It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Ah, uh, yes, it was worth it. I was like, I gotta use my nail board. So, kill by entity, normal. But, I will say... Now, I wonder... Oh, so you can kill- How am I- how could I have killed? How would have I been able to kill him? I guess would be, would have been the real question. With the um, the nail board, I think if anything, I would have needed a gun. So, this was Backrooms Survival. Um, not a not a bad game. I feel like it could be better. I mean, since it is in early access, I guess the best advice I can give, you know, like what could be potentially better for the game is it's very while it's i get be, it being quiet except for the circus place so far that's the only place it's been uh 
that actually has music i feel like it does if it's going to be a lot of exploring i do think that maybe there should be some music in the background you know and maybe or like a, a low hum you know just something to really uh it's hard to explain but it's i guess in a way to keep it from just it being just kind of dead i mean i get why like i said i get why there's no music because it's to simulate you know if you were actually there it would be really like oh shit like you got to pay attention to every sound you hear but i don't know i, I just feel like like sound wise it was just kind of like i was getting kind of bored now i feel like there should be more items on the ground you know like maybe more food and water i mean i get the survival aspect of it i think if anything there should be different levels to this like uh easy mode you know medium mode and hard mode and then survival mode to where you it's genuinely a survival mode where you have to like find food but maybe easy mode it's a little bit more food and water so you're able to explore it more you know that, that kind of thing and um my last point i guess would be the multiplayer i really and genuinely do think that this should have like a multiplayer mode as big and open as it is i think adding a multiplayer aspect like maybe have an additional player maybe up to three or four players would really i guess would really would really get this game going at least for me personally because it's like oh if i had friends you know that i could play games with i would want to do this you know this would be the game i would want to do it with you know it's like oh we got to survive and you don't know what could happen. Oh, is that you down there making sounds? You know, that kind of thing. I feel like it would really be fun and, and, and a very good experience to have. So, with that being said, this was an alright game. You know, I I might check it out later. You know, if there are more updates are added to it. And, um, yeah, other than that, I mean, if you guys want to play it yourself, I'll put it in the description below. And, uh... Oh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Plus, drink plenty of water. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.